I am real life annoyed right now. <sighs> Let me get in the car before I get to talking mess. First of all, happy new year. Okay, so I have a nail in my tire, I think. Um, <coughs> so I come to this place, I have this neighborhood website for the area that I live in and my neighborhood is included. And so they always recommend like places that help, you know, or like good services or whatever. So I decide, mm, I'm gonna come to this place. First of all, I live in an area where there are not a lot of African American people, okay? Really nice area, real good schools, the whole nine yards. But from time to time, I run into the foolishness and the bull crap like I just did. So I walk in there and I'm like, hi, do you all plug tires? He's like, he's looking at me just like that. It depends. I'm like, okay. I said, I believe um, there's a, a nail there. So I was told there was a nail there. I didn't see it. The boyfriend did. I didn't see it. So he walk outside i'm in front so i open the door because i'm in front and he gonna like bump the door as my kids walking out the door like hold the door for me i was holding the door already but bruh don't play with me so we get outside and he barely comes over to my car he barely looks at it he's like well i mean it's gonna take me some time to look at it like i don't know an hour hour and a half before i might can even get it to the back there's nobody sitting in there I'm looking at the bay right now. There's one car up there. They might be low on staff today. That's fine. But then he says, you might just want to try across the street. Because they do it. I don't know if it's this afro. I don't know if it's the skin. I don't know what it is. But this is not the way that I'm about to play with these people going into Dango 2017. I had other things I needed to do today, but at this point, I honestly just want to go home. I am annoyed. I won't come back here again, <laughs> to say the least. And I mean, this website that I'm telling y'all about, everybody swear, they swear by that place. In the place that he just told me to go to isn't even open. I tell you. Now I can tell you one thing. Had I probably had my boyfriend with me, I probably wouldn't have had that problem. He, he's he's a he's a brown person as well. But I'm sure I might not have had that issue that I just had just then. Stuff like that annoys me. Like, why can't you just be helpful? Anyway, I entered into 2017 the way that I want to, which was with my babies. We, I think we were playing Monopoly when the actual New Year came in. And then right after that camera crash, she said she, it was just, it was, it was too much for her. But uh, good start to 2017. Now I just gotta figure out the situation because to be honest with y'all, I'm the type of person, I don't even like dealing with this kind of stuff. I would just rather buy a whole new tire that's just me because I'm like it, okay you plug it and then like it's wet outside it's been raining it's all foggy and dreary and all of that so it's like just I'd rather just buy a new tire and not have this issue again but you know I don't know I still might do that just because I don't want to run into stuff like that again stuff like that irritates me like it's crazy that in America in 2017 we're still dealing with issues like that and I mean the dude was like he was like real deal holy feel rude to me it was beyond it was above and beyond what was needed but I'm about to go to my next location if I don't take my butt back home first because I'm so irritated but we shall see see y'all okay all right come on it's raining okay leaving Walmart almost had another bad experience I prayed this time because I'm not here for the mess. My kids were up in there fighting each other. Ugh, it's just 
It was all bad. Anyway, hold on. Let me get these kids in the car. I'm opening the trunk and stuff. I need to learn these buttons. Come on, babies. So, walk in. Come in contact with a woman. Come on, baby girl. Hop up. Come on. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Get in your seat. Oh. What? 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 It's raining on my head, girl. So, come in contact. Okay, I got you. Come in contact with a lady. She got an attitude, too. What the heck is the problem? What is wrong with everybody? So, I asked her, ma'am, hi, do you all plug or patch tires here? She says, yes. I said, how much? She says, $19. I said, okay. I said, I would like to have that service, please. She says, well, pull around to the back. I do. A guy meets me there. Really nice dude. And what is wrong with my... What did I do? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I get the man was like, you know, oh, okay. He was like, so, you know, you tried anywhere else? I told him what happened to me at the other place. He's like, dang. So we stand there and we talk for like 15 minutes because he's telling me like, same thing happens to him. He was a um, like Hispanic type guy. And so he's like, you know, he lives in an area not too far from here as well. And man, put that down. We're not doing all that right now. These two been fighting since. I don't know if it's the weather or if they just want to get the mommy smacked down. I don't know. But anyway, so I go on in there. The girls walk, the girls and I walk around Walmart or whatever, pick up a few things. They fighting. I'm still congested. I want to go home, but I need to get my tire fixed because school starts back on Thursday. So anyway, I go to check out and the guy that did my tire, he's the one that checks me out. And when he rings me up, y'all... It's ten dollars, and I look over at the lady, and he was like, "She was trying to charge you for a different service." Why? My hair not even nappy for real. It's just shrinkage is real. Like, why y'all treat me like this out here in these streets? Ugh. But the most important part is, I got my tire fixed, and now I need to get these kids in these seats before. It goes down and I'm not dead. So I'm gonna get these kids in these in these seats and stuff and then I'm gonna come back. Hello y'all. So that's a whole nother day. Um, I was kinda over Monday. Today is now Thursday, so it was the first day back to um back to school today. So now I'm just getting myself together, along with the little people. Got to put my shoes on. But um, we're gonna run to Walmart because they are predicting snow. Hi. Snow in Atlanta. Can't say hey. You wanna say hey? Uh oh, you little. Hi. <laughs> but um, they're they're predicting snow in Atlanta which we don't get very often come on Cam is your coat in the car little lady so yep okay get on in because it was cold this morning so um yeah like I said they're predicting snow here in Atlanta and girl come on here and the way that, well, I live a little more than north of Atlanta, so I'm up here a little bit. And typically, if and when it snows, it definitely, what are you doing? It definitely does its thing down here. So, um, Everything in the stores here disappeared. Everything. So if you don't have something, you won't have it. And I don't have time for that. So we are gonna run to the store. And it's not even so much the um, the snow that's a problem here. It's ice because 
this is the south and we don't get snow and ice like that so they're not normally prepared for that kind of stuff so it becomes an issue and my driveway sits i need to take that bowl off of my garage but my driveway sits on a hill so if we get any kind of precipitation and it's icy i wouldn't be going anywhere um but then very specifically Mommy, like i, I live <laughs> sledding but i live like we're going up the hill right now i live in a cul-de-sac and we're going like up a pretty, a pretty steep hill and um then i gotta go down another hill i live like i live in the mountains i live like what would you call it like rolling hills maybe because it's 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 really hilly around here but um yeah so we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna pick up some some stuff and i'm trying really hard to not let so much stuff affect me but i'm not gonna lie to y'all I've been under a ton of pressure because I have not been feeling good. And when I don't feel good, my anxiety goes to another level because I'm not as active as I normally am. So I feel like certain stuff doesn't get handled and taken care of. And I get behind on laundry and everything. I think the only thing I have done like wash dishes and that's because I don't like dishes in my sink. I'm trying to think what's the quickest way for me to go where I'm going. Um yeah I don't like dishes in, in my sink like that. <coughs> and I don't like to cook in a dirty kitchen so the dishes have been done and everything else. So today I did laundry and like I cleaned my bedroom got like Kleenex boxes and stuff everywhere but had a blowing nose a lot but either way so yes snow in Atlanta and I'm going to pick up a few things that we may potentially need around the um, around the house and like my dad brought me a bunch of firewood but I have pretty much I pretty much ran through that wood, so I need more firewood. Yeah, because my fireplace gets down. It does its thing. So, 